some more Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. On the last episode, we, uh, did, uh, Halloween Town. And on this one, we're gonna be doing Dustly Island and maybe something else. I don't really know. We'll see how far I get. Just depends on the day, really. Okay, let's go to Dustly Island. A little louder, too. I never thought I'd miss the island wind so much. Funny, there was a time I couldn't wait to get off this rock, and now I'm acting all re relieved. Is that? Hey! Bro, they're gonna, like, Thanos disappear. What's with you guys? I don't think I've ever seen the three of you so quiet. What? Is there something on my face? Bruh. Bruh. They just, like, do the disappear me. Let me be clear. And then they just die. Guys? Okay, hold up a second. Let me just post this on my server. Just posting. Actually, I, I'm gonna need a moment to uh, post the stream post for this too. I kind of forgot to do that. Let, let's just cover the screen with this thing. Did, did, um, wait, where? Where is it? Okay. Hold up. Let me just get a new thing for that. Boop. There. Now it's perfectly covered. Hold up a sec, everyone. Okay, I am back. I like that little screen thing I got. Okay. Um, how do I take it? Oh, wait, there. Crap, okay. We're back. I still want to put the music louder, though. Oh, wait, what the heck does he do? Bro, I'm so strong now. I'm unstoppable. Just hit him with one flash, man. Do, 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 do. What does this Lexia star do? Obliterate enemies with the fishing blow of a copy. Oh, that sounds kind of sick. I mean, I did use a lot of combat, so that sounds fine, I guess. And it still isn't as good as Maleficent, honestly. Come 
Using a one card. Yeah, we'll just use Feeble Darkness again. Because Riku hates the darkness and he wants as little of them to see as possible. Obviously. Come on!
Eh, why not? Tranquil darkness. Let's go. This song just makes me think of freaking melody memories. Ha! 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 Ha!
I thought that guy wasn't here, honestly. Hey, 
initiative. Let's go. Oh, that was sick. 
Hi there, CF. How's it going? I'm on the islands right now, so that's pretty cool. I'll be right back one second. Okay, I am back. Owned by my friend Crackalac, for those that don't know. I should probably put a little watermark there just to have that for the BRB screen. That would be a good idea. Okay, lasting days. Let's do that. How's it going? Hope you're having a great new year so far, CF. Might have been pretty cool already. Come on! Come on! 
I like that game a lot too, even if it has a lot of filler. It's a really fun game, though it might be a little bit hard to find now, I don't know. This song just keeps making me think of Melody of Memory. The horror flashback of that song. Okay, yeah, that was uh, pretty cool, sweet. I've been playing a lot of Persona 4 lately, I've been doing it a lot. Almost as much as Persona 5 in different ways than P5, but I like Persona 4 a lot, and I've been- I started the fighting game recently as well that I bought, um, with a Steam gift card I got, and the fighting game is like actually really cool. Kinda reminds me of Dragon Ball Fighters a little bit, but like, cooler in a way. I'd recommend it, even if you probably don't know Persona. I mean, it's pretty fun. So, you also need a PC to play it, probably. Or it might be on Switch, I don't actually know. Is it on Switch? I'm not sure. I know it was put on PlayStation, probably. I mean, if not Persona 4 Arena on Switch, at least you can actually play Persona 4 Golden on there. Oh, I think that's all the enemies. I swept them out. Riku, sweep! Oh, a 9. Uh, I don't have any 9s other than this. online mode. Bring back the multiplayer that they cut out of the PS2 version because it wouldn't have really worked on the PS2 because it involves having a freaking full deck. Uh, unless they like did like a separate save file thing where you just load a different memory card. Because basically like you use the deck you got through route you play through with Sora and then you battle it out in a card battle thing which sounds pretty cool. 
for people that like completed the game. It just sounds underutilized, unfortunately. I've never heard anyone talk about the car battle mode because like, yeah, they got a link cable, you have to fight somebody else with the game. I wonder how many people even got to try that out back in the day. Because it does sound like a good feature. Same thing with like the Mega Mark 358 multiplayer mode. That sounds pretty cool. Like you can do the missions in that game with multiple people with the characters from the organization of their team. Like all of them are playable. That's pretty cool. You didn't play as freaking Donald Duck, Mickey Mouse, Goofy. Like, that's pretty neat, man. Most of those none of those characters are playable in normal stage games, so. I think I wiped them again. Okay. Zero. Just zero. Yeah, just zero. Well, I've been saving zeros for a moment like this. So, um... Huh. Eh, let's use the Link like World again. I don't know what kind of room this is, but it looks like it doesn't have a ton of heart. Oh, wait, crap. Those guys are annoying. They like, just blow off like executor. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, whatever. If you're wondering why Mickey Mouse is not here, it's just, well, plot reasons, probably. Oh god! Speaking of Mickey Mouse, I could use a Mickey Mouse miracle right about now. Don't know where... Where is that blasted mouse? Um... I'll just get a health. Yo! Just pick those things up. Okay, that helped quite a bit. I mean, I guess if I'm low on health, I can always just use OG. Never really needed him because all the enemies are so weak here. I don't know if it's just because I'm overpowered by leveling so much, but I mean, that could definitely be it. But. So far, it isn't really that hard. Honestly, none of the bosses in Game Game Boy Advance Game Boy Advance are that hard. Like, don't know if it's because I played Rechain first, but like, they're completely... I mean, one thing I liked in Rechain was that the bosses were pretty challenging and fun, but here, they... I mean, other than the Leficent Dragon, which... with Sora, which was pretty tough, like, maybe some other guy I'm forgetting. Yeah, I can't really think of anything else other than Maleficent. Oh yeah, Captain Hook. He kind of kicked my ass. Other than those two bosses. None of them really posed a threat at all. Keep in mind, I didn't get the fight by Arcea. Well, that save kind of got screwed over. Due to lack of a doorway, but whatever. Lack of the right number card, but... I mean, yeah, you know, that's true. When I first saw the subspace MS, MS, the subspace bosses in Brawl, I just thought, you know, the, they look kind of like Heartless. I wonder if that was a source of inspiration for the enemy design in the game. Like, you just based them on Kingdom Hearts enemies. Because they do look like Kingdom Hearts. That's true. Especially, like, the one, um... Let me just get an image, actually. There's this one roadster enemy thing with wheels. 
Um, that reminds me of one of the enemies from Kingdom Hearts 2. Um, he's in the Tron world, Space Paradoids. I'll just get a picture of the Heartless that looks kind of like that guy. Okay, I found it. Let me just get it on the screen here. True, true. And also... Uh, much of the people that wrote uh, the story for the uh, subspace are people that did the story for Final Fantasy VII, if I recall. So that's neat. Okay, wait. Wait. Just gotta get a picture here. Okay, here. This, this freaking guy. It looks like the brawl enemy. You probably know the one I'm talking about. There's one with wheels. That kind of looks like that. It's red. Yeah. It's kind of funny. True. Same policy speed and similar eyes. Honestly, I'm surprised nobody ever really, even really pointed that out. Like, I've never seen anyone coming on this. Subspace designs and they were like, yeah, this game hard, because I always thought that when I played the game. <laughs> I should probably go and get another tissue, which is um, pretty accepted today. Coconut. Okay, I'm gonna be right back again. Just to clear it up a little bit. Boop. again. Should probably get, um, drink some water too, so I'll do that. Huh? Oh, there. I like how Riku's journal is just called the freaking D report. Like, you couldn't come up with a better name, man. My health. Only gonna subtract more. Okay. Well, let's keep looking. Maybe there's something in here. Bro, it's gonna be another barrel freaking in it. Okay, good. The small HP orbs don't really give me anything. Damn it. Yeah, spam. Oh, 
This is actively subtracting my HP, but I also want to fight these enemies, so... Oh, there's some big orbs. No, okay. They don't really give you a lot either way. Probably like one HP per orb. Oh, never mind, that gave me quite a bit. I'm almost healed. Let's freaking go. Oh, there's a barrel right here. Oh, there we go. I'm back to 50. 350. Scrounging on the resources of the island. So I can fight the boss. Oh god. Thank frick I had a green 7. Otherwise I would have been screwed, man. Okay, let's make a save. Kyrie. Hey, Kyrie. Don't tell me you. Ah. Me. No, no, no. Surely you knew this would happen. Why would I know that? You've been to a number of worlds in your memory before this one. And in those worlds, you met only dark beings. That's all that's left in your heart, dark memories. Your memories of home are gone, each and every one. I know there's a plot reason for there being, like, no story in any of the Disney worlds for Riga. Or like, oh, he only sees the enemies, but, like, only the evil Disney villains. But, like, they could have at least had, like, a pre-battle exchange or something. Like, a little something. That's a lie! I remember everyone from this island. He did Titus, Self, and Selfie, and Waka. Kyrie and Sora, too. They're my... my... They're my friends. And who threw away those friends? Maybe it's your own actions that you forgot. You destroyed your home. That's true. Bro, oh. that's gonna roll. This is that night. The islands you grew up on were sundered, scattered. Many hearts were lost to the darkness. Because of what you did. Bro, he's like the freaking ghost of Christmas past or some crap. No. You hated being an islander, cut off from other worlds. So you open the door to darkness and destroy the islands. You did that. And now you belong to the darkness. Look at what you are. Bro. Oh, wait, we're just running. Bruh. That's Sora's heartless. Well, Sora, the dark enemy that Sora fought. That's not, that's not you, Riku. He's supposed to, he's meant to resemble Sora. That doesn't even make sense. I thought I was fighting Zexion. What? I mean, in Rechain, you fight Zexion, and in, in the freaking Game Boy Advance version, you just fight this freaking guy. Oh, yeah. Speaking of this guy, he was so annoying against Sora. I forgot about him. Bro, it took so long. It wasn't even hard, either. It was just annoying. Bro. So, in this game, there's not a unique boss fight. It's just this guy. Is that what you're telling me? I don't remember fighting him with Riku and Rechain. And it's funny, because he's like my least favorite boss. Well, at least with Riku, he's gonna kick his ass. Because he's weak as hell here. And he doesn't have nearly as much health. So if I spam my slate, I'm gonna run out of cards. My turn. Oh well, though. I want to do strong moves, so... Come on. 
Oh yeah, did I even have to use Malefic? Yeah, I did. Got dark mode again by accident. Well, not accident, but I Bro, I can't hit you. Wait. Wait. Just wait. Hold up a second here. I have like one health of you left. Okay. I, I got this. Bro, he's so hard to hit. Oh my god. Bro, I got this. Kind of. Good thing I can just cancel his attacks over and over with this hero. Yes! Bro, that was ridiculous. Bro, is that really it? No, is this how it ends? Okay, what about the part where I kick Zexian's ass? Sora! Stop it, Sora! Don't you recognize me? Yeah, I recognize you. I can see exactly what you've become. Yeah, well, that's kind of brawl. Gah! Look at you, shrinking away from the light. You're not Riku anymore. You're just a pawn of the darkness. So be it. It's time for you to face the light. I'm fading, consumed by the light. True. And on Sora, it took you way longer. You won't fade. You can't fade. No power can defeat you. Not the light, not the dark. So don't run from the light, and don't fear the darkness. Both will make you stronger. Hello. Okay. Especially darkness, because that power is yours alone. The darkness in your heart is vast and deep. But if you can stare into it unflinching, you'll never know fear again. All this time I've been pushing the darkness away. Just be brave. Know that the darkness is there and don't give in. 
Do that, and you'll gain strength unlike any other. You'll be able to escape the deepest darkness. And I'll be able to see through the brightest light. Follow the darkness, Riku. I'll show you the way to the friends you miss. But can I face them? You don't want to? I think that's Namine, honestly. You know I do. Or maybe not. I don't know. Maybe he's hallucinating. And I will. The darkness. My darkness will show me the way. Darkness. Awaken. Yeah, that's brawl as hell. Impossible. Oh, okay, now I get to fight him. How did you find me in the light? You reek of the dark. Even the light can't block out that smell. I ball the darkness right to you. Heh, <laughs> after all your protest, you're still just another darkling. Breath of the darkness. Probably used at least ten times. I know who I am. I know what you are. Since when? You were terrified of the dark before. I'm not now. I'm a big boy. I am a big kid now. Ugh! Hypocrite! Bro, no boss fight. Oh wait, he got away. No. No. Yeah, because I remember you fight him on this island. I. That's definitely in Rechain only. Maybe. My, my, my stream title's misleading, because I didn't know it was different, so I'm sorry, I will change it later. I'm a little bit sad about it, honestly. Didn't know there was reaching exclusive boss fights. Oh, thank god, I'm back to full health. <laughs> Oh yeah, where do I have to go anyway? Oh, so that kind of thing is really cool. Oh, okay, I was going the right way all along. Well, it's a good thing I got the health before the battle, because I, I did actually need it quite a lot. Ha, my turn. Ha, my turn. Ha, 
Also, I saw a little bit of um, Mickey Donald Goofy Three Musketeer, Little Mermaid, and Aladdin on TV the other day on New Year. So that was pretty cool. I wasn't expecting to see a, um, Three Musketeers on, but it's actually a peak and go it movie, so I recommend watching it at least once. One of the best directed video Disney movies of all time, and it's actually a good movie, so. There's that. It's funny and has some pretty good animation and uh, graphics. No, oh, he's not dead. What? What is he? No one's ever won the darkness the way he does. It's not possible. Riku owned up to the darkness. He made it him. him, him. He, he he took it for himself. Like. Dude's an icon. Oh, Riku! Oh, oh yes, of course. Rex and Replica. Good thinking. We can use this Riku to be the real one. Axel? Save Riku. It must be hard now that you're not real. I bet you'd like to be real. Yeah. Well, you can. All you need is strength that the real Riku doesn't have. Get that, and you can be your, a new person. Your own person. Not Riku. Not anybody else. You won't be someone else's copy. You'll be you. Axel, what are you telling him? You know, I bet he's a good... He's as good a place to start as any. Have you lost your mind? Sorry, Zexy. <laughs> Zexy. <laughs> Sorry, Zexy. Saving you doesn't seem half as entertaining as observing Sora and Riku. Bro. No! Stop! Riku. Riku. Who's there? Of course, that voice. I know you can feel it, Riku. The grip I have on your heart. You've let the darkness in, and all consuming darkness is what your heart shall become! I'm not like that anymore! I think you are. I I can't move! The deeper the darkness runs in you, the stronger I become. Controlling your body is an effortless task. Bro, a frickin' light ball. Grrrah, you! Interfering again! Golly, I'm glad I made it in time! Watch should keep my handsome tied up for a while. Bro, I like how- oh, well gosh, I wonder who that guy is. Oh crap, it's him! Sorry I couldn't come sooner, Riku! Your Majesty, it's you. You betcha. Huh? Hey, cut it out. That tickles. <laughs> this time, you're real. No illusions. I'm so glad you came. Bro, this is wholesome as hell. I promise. Did I promise. Did I? God, my voice is cracking. Don't worry. I'm okay. Just really relieved, that's all. I've been alone so long that having someone else around is a little overwhelming. But how did you get here, Your Majesty? I thought you were really far away. Bruh, someone should freaking change the Mickey sprite to a middle figure. <laughs> this card should be the way! I was looking for the way out of the realm of darkness, and then this card came along. As soon as I picked it up, it showed me your heart, way out beyond the darkness. 
And that's how I charge you down! Bro, Mickey's got a freaking GPS. I know where you live! But what? I guess the card not belonged with you! Now I got my voice. Maybe you're right. Bro, that's it. The power of light should keep it so locked up for a while. Okay, what we got next? Twilight Town? I mean, I'm down. I have a time spell. Yep. Doo doo doo. Where am I now? I don't remember this place. Your Majesty, do you know where we are? Your Majesty? His Majesty is not here. You must battle me in the darkness alone! Giving up already? Then accept your fate and accept Ansem as your master. You're not Ansem. Your scent, it's different. The Ansem of my heart smells darker, more foul. But not you. It's not darkness I smell, it's something else. I know. You're the one who guided me when this all started. You pretended to be Ansem and gave me the car to make me face the darkness. Bro, how did he even know? Correct. Call me Diz. It's as good a name as any. I've been watching you all along. Who are you really? What do you want from me? I want you to choose. Choose? You are special. You exist between light and dark. You stand in the twilight. I want you to meet Nomine, then choose us. Nomine? Who's that? You'll just have to meet her and find out. Hey, wait a sec! Ha! Ha! My turn! Ha! Ha! Come on! 
By the way, I watched the episode of Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog where freaking Sonic gets a seizure stolen. It was pretty good. It was a pretty good episode, actually. I'd say it's pretty up there. Nominee is in here. Hold it, real thing. Bro, he called him in a thing again. Well, well, you've changed. Last time we met, you were afraid of the darkness, but not anymore. How can you tell? Because I'm you. No, I'm you. I'm me. He says. <laughs> Bruh, that's the most savage. It must be nice being real. A fake like me could never get away with saying something saying that. That's right. I'm a phony. The way I look, the way I feel, everything. 
I thought by finding some new strength, I could be someone. Someone who's not you. But nothing changes. I'm still just empty. Everything about me is ballroom. As long as you're around, I'll never be anything better than a shadow. Bro, that's a roller call. Oh, time to kick his ass. Alright. Uh, go. Um, okay, maybe I need to employ a little more strategy here. Like, a little bit. Before he kills me. So this is the part where the game gets... The going gets tough here. Okay, okay, I apologize. I didn't really think much of it. At the time. Okay, good. I think it's up. I need to get the darker mode of my own here. Ah. Good, I'm gonna risk it. Hold on, stick out. Um, um. Okay, okay, okay. It's a bit Bro, I'm just gonna beat him with zeros. Just watch me. I'm thinking yellow swag him. Bro. That was sick attack. Unfortunately, he is dead. So, this is the end. Figures. But I'm not afraid. Good riddance to an artificial life. I never had a real heart. Even what I'm feeling now is probably fake. What are you feeling? Bro, I actually feel bad for him. What happens when someone who's not real dies? Where will my heart go? That is, if it doesn't disappear completely. It'll go somewhere. Probably the same place my heart will go. Heh, <laughs> how original. Oh well. Damn, bro. I hit hard. Bro. Bro just died. I'm sad. Oh yeah, the battle didn't even make me love lot. Surprisingly. I thought every boss had his auto level to me, but maybe maybe they just give me that much experience. Oh yeah, speak of the double. Bro, 
I was facing the other way, but I still hit him. I feel bad for the Riku Grapple Cut. But maybe we'll see him again someday, who knows. Question mark. Honestly, that little moment between Riku and Replica Riku is one of my favorite parts in the whole game. So, that was pretty cool. I love relentlessly destroying all these enemies.
Okay, I'm back again. Here I am. I have a hoodie on because it's a little cold in here. So, that's cool, I guess. Got the red and blue. The Vegeta honey. Looks like the Saiyan armor. We had a good New Year's Eve and New Year. Okay, um... I don't know. Strong initiative? Yeah, sure, let's, let's gun it.
Hashtag boost. The battles are kind of quick. Not much to worry about, really. So much experience for battle. Come on. Ha! Ha! 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 Come on.
Um, the Game Boy Advance version was not, but the remake on the PlayStation 2 has been, um, in, um, several of the, well, basically all the HD compilations, so this game hasn't been ignored, it's just, if you want to play the Game Boy Advance one particularly, you'll have to either emulate or get the game. So, like, the PS2 one you can find in HD on, um, the HD 1.5 collection on PS3, PS4, Switch, Xbox One, and, well, actually not Switch, unless you want to get a freaking stupid cloud version, and, um, yeah. Honestly, I'd re reckon if you if you like the game that much, I'd recommend playing both versions just to see how they stack up because they both have their own merits and flaws. But I I I'm a huge Kingdom Hearts fan, and you know I think they're both pretty good in different ways. So it just depends on how you're feeling about the game, really. I was a little nervous at looking back at this game because I remembered how grindy the game was, but really, that's only as uh, that's only kind of a me problem because I just that's how I play the game anyway. I sweep all the rooms of every heartless, so not really having that problem on this playthrough, even though I still do play the game the same way as I did on my first playthrough. But in reaching, it just feels like the battles take a little longer, so. That worn out even the hardest of grinders like me. Yeah, I'd highly recommend it. I mean, it is on the Xbox um, One. I'm pretty sure you have the Series X, so. The only problem is, you can't. I don't know how often it goes on sale on Series X, and, um. They don't have the all-in-one collection on the story so far on Xbox either, I think. You have to get all the collections separately if I... If I... If I'm remembering right anyway. Because, like, on PS4, you have the story so far bundle, which just has all the collection... All three separate collections. And then there's the all-in-one package, which has those, plus Kingdom Hearts 3. So, like... Those not being on the Xbox is pretty weird to me. Because you're getting much less of a deal otherwise. Because you're about to buy the, every collection separately, basically. Oh, leveled up again. Huh. 
but they do go on sale a lot. Just not sure how often, because I don't really check for games I already own. That's fair, they are pretty fun, even for people that don't really play RPGs. At least in my opinion, like, they're easy to pick up and learn. Easy to learn, hard to master. I feel like most people can play these games, and, like, for people that like platformers, I feel like the first game is pretty platformer-y, even if it's, well, not really a platformer game. Like, you get those vibes. That's kind of why I like the first game a lot, even if it's not the most... Like, you know, the platforming can be a little janky sometimes, but it's fun. Uh, sword... four... Lasting days, I guess. You're gonna be like Roxas in Kingdom Hearts 2's three or four hour tutorial. He's gotta get his freaking job money to make enough money to go to the beach and progress the plot. By the way, you'll see be seeing that very soon, maybe. Because I am gonna play Kingdom Hearts 2 right after. Figured since this is it doesn't feel like that long of a game to beat. Compared to the main page games, uh, I would go out of my way and go do it. Like, why not? But yeah, Kingdom Hearts too soon? Probably. And maybe expect Mario 1, Mario 2, and Mario 3 stream, because why not? I'll be playing those. And 64. Heck, maybe I should do that before game, so I don't know. I'm, so my plan, my current plan is Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., maybe Donkey Kong 3 for the lol, Mario 1, 2, 3, and 64. It's gonna be a Mega Mario Marathon, maybe I should start that next. Put TH2 on hold for a minute. And hey, it'll be the first Mario games I play on my channel. That aren't Mario Kart Door anyway. So that'll be interesting. It's been a year I haven't played any Mario games. What, what kind of Mario fan am I? Bro, they're kicking my butt. Yep, gonna hype up the movie, so I'm gonna play those games right after I beat this one. Cause like, I could start Kingdom Hearts 2 right after this, but... You know, it might be a better idea to just start Mario. Because I'm gonna be like, in the middle of stage 2 and then put it on the back burner anyway, so... I don't know, I just feel like it makes logical sense to just do that and then cage to some other point. Plus, cage 2 kind of feels like a summer game. So we're more closer to the summer, so... It makes sense. Cage 1 has that feeling as well. But, you, you can play those games during any time, really, but for me, they're the perfect kind of summer game. True, Mario is sick. Honestly, I can't really say if I like Mario or Sonic more, but yeah, Mario and Sonic 
top two, neck and neck, for me. And Kirby's pretty close, so I don't play the Kirby game, uh, continuously as much. But, when I do play them, they're really fun. Watch them put, and they make freaking GBA online, and then put this game on there. On the Switch online service. Wouldn't that be crazy? No, they won't. And even if they did, there wouldn't really be that much of a difference on the playthrough. Bye. Um, let me just think about that. You know what? I could just use this card. Because why not? What freaking time is it anyway? And I don't know. I just don't see them really re-releasing this game at all. They could have like re-released this game, recode it, and 358 in its own little package of like side games that didn't really get their original versions in, but not really because like we're getting about it's kind of hard to call these things side games. They're all relevant to the lore and the ongoing story. So, I just call them a side game. And even that kind of feels a little bit weird to say sometimes. Like, is Birth by Sleep and Dream Drop Destiny really a side game? It feels just like the regular series. So basically like mini numbered Kingdom Hearts titles. They're not as long as those, but they still feel just like them, basically. And on the next part, we'll be likely wrapping this game up, so stay tuned for that. Also, the versions of Mario 1 and 2 and 3 I'll be playing is All-Stars. Because I just didn't really get the All-Stars yet, so... We'll see how that goes. I haven't played All Stars versions of those games in like ages. I'll be right back, by the way. Again. That's fair. I kind of like the NES version of Mario 1 a little bit more, honestly. Just because the physics aren't weird, but whatever.
Wait, sorry. Yeah, they just kind of messed up the drum thing. Anyway, time to keep playing more. That's partially because of me, but I don't really know. I'm just that obsessed with Sonic. Oh, 
Hooray, like Sonic is a gift, not a curse. Love it depends on who you ask. Hey. True. I like doing that as well. It's kind of like me with the King Mark games that I just didn't play, like Breath by Sleep. 35A. This game, hopefully, etc. Dream Drop. I only really played a lot of 1 and 2, and I played a little bit of the GBA version of Game of Thrones, but that was pretty much my King Mark experience as a kid. I never really played a bunch of the side games. Like, I played a little bit of 3 5 a, but I didn't really know no, the story. Until recently. Yeah, though I'm sure it's at least kind of funny to play, maybe? Question mark? I don't know. At least it might have been good for some chuckles. Like when I played Sonic 06, it was kind of funny. And also, part of it was actually pretty good, in my opinion. I don't know, I kind of like Hard from 06, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm not gonna say it's a good game. I'd be lying if I thought it was a good game, but I just feel like the level design is pretty decent. For Sonic, at least. And Shadow Story was cool in the game. And I like Silver in the game, too, actually. Like, he's kind of dumb, but I don't, I don't care. I like Silver, actually. Honestly, Sonic 06 story kind of sucks in a lot of ways, but I like Shadow and Silver in the game. The time travel logic and, like, you know, at least getting kidnapped from the jelly time is what really makes it trouble, but, like, overall, I wouldn't say it's as bad as people make it out to be all the time. But that's just me. I just feel weird, I guess. That's all. Combo. Dead. Bro, how many of these guys are there? I'm gonna beat this world and that'll be the end of it. Unless there's some kind of mini boss that will take me like five minutes to beat, maybe. Which there might be. I don't know. I think that's the last one 
perhaps. Honestly, of any game I didn't like that I played through somewhat recently, it would have to be Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Like, I liked a lot of elements of it, but I, I just didn't have fun with it. The puzzles all the time felt kind of confusing, and I didn't know what I was going to cost. I mean, you could chalk it up to just me being crap at puzzles, but like, the game had like a bunch of- oh, bruh. Okay, a 50. Easy enough. And I was just bad at them, so... Skill issue, I guess? But, like... Still... And also, that was like two years ago I played Dark Moon, or three even, I don't even know. Wait, already? You're a Nomine? Yes. Wait, did I just beat the game? So, that was you. Bro, what about the final boss? Is there a final boss here? Nothing, never mind. Please, come this way. Wait, did I just frickin' beat the game? Bro? Finale? Bro, there's supposed to be more to this game. For Riku Reverse Mode, right? Bro. In Reed Shame, they have you go through the Castle of Oblivion floor again. And you fight Ansem. And like a cool final battle, but... Maybe that Riku replica was it. I mean, this looks like the end, because... Hey, it's Sora. Bro, that's it? What did you do to him? Nothing, he's just sleeping. He has to, to get his memory back. Tell me what happened. I see. Sora chose to forget about this castle and get back his old memories. You have a decision to make, too. My, no one's been messing with my memories. It's not about your memories, it's about your darkness. Bro, I think I just beat the game. In your heart is darkness, and in that darkness is Ansem. Right now, he's at bay. Oh, wait, maybe there is more. But eventually, he'll awaken, and he'll conquer you when he does. Before that happens, let me lock your heart tight. I can make it so Ansem never escapes. And what happens to me if you, I let you do that? Will I forget everything? Like Sora? I will, won't I? The darkness in your heart will be sealed along with your memory. You'll stop remembering the darkness. You can go back to the way you used to be. It's your choice, Riku. So, choose. Looks like he hasn't got a care in the world. Will I sleep that well? Yes. Sora always did as he pleased. It doesn't matter what we were doing. He'd still go off and leave me with all the work. Take the raft we were going to use to leave the islands. That was all me. Hey, what do you mean? I helped gather materials. I've made up my mind. When this slacker wakes up, I'm gonna tell him off good. I told him to take care of Kyrie, and here he is taking a nap. And I can't chew him out if I've been sleeping too. Keep your lock. I'd rather just finish off Ansem off once and for all. Yo, but if the darkness he wields gets the better of you, I'll make that darkness show me the way. That's true. Why do I get the feeling you knew I'd say that? I didn't know, I hope. I want you to face the darkness, because you're the one who can. So that's why you came to me in the light, as Kyrie. 
I knew it. You knew? I knew as soon as I met you. Somehow you smell the same. Bruh, what's with him and his sense, man? Bro, it's almost the same for me, except to throw frickin' like... Um... Kingdom Hearts in there, Undertale... By the way, you should play Undertale. I'm, ju I'm just gonna say it. Just, just try Undertale. Please. Look after Sora. Also, try Persona. Maybe. If you feel like it. Wait, okay, that wasn't the end of the game. What, what happened? I don't know what's happening. How did he even get there? What is happening? Okay, so he said look after Sora. Is that floor thing that I'm thinking of in the game? I just... I didn't think Riku would be to nominate already. That doesn't seem like it's the correct order of events, but I don't really remember. Bro, I highly recommend it. Get the Switch version of any. Uh, it has a little bit of extra content. And you could get it for like ten or five dollars. Ten dollars or five or was it fifteen? I don't remember. Or like eight dollars on sale, so like one of the best games ever, in my opinion. For that price, it's kind of a steal, not gonna lie. And also I'd recommend Delta Rune. It's looking to be really good so far as well, but definitely be Undertale first. Those are my recommendations of the day. Oh, I'm supposed to go this way. Oh yeah, Cinnapod Instrument does look pretty fun. I've been meaning to try that eventually. I mean, it is on Switch Online. Yeah, you'd probably like Spyro a lot, and yeah, I recommend playing more Zelda games. It's not one of my top tops franchises, but I do like the Zelda games I've played a lot, so. I just feel like I'm more of a Zelda lore slash character slash world fan than I'm, I am actually playing the games. Like, I don't know. I, I got all the freaking Hyrule Historia bugs and stuff, but just, I don't really play the games that much. I probably should do that, but, like, I don't know. I mean, at the very least, my favorite games are Wind Waker and Majora's Mask. So, like, I don't know. Okay, that's fair. One of my my third favorite is the Link to the World, but I do like a Link to the Past a lot, even if I've never beaten it, and I never beat Link to the World. Either. See, I have a tendency to just start these games and just not finish them for whatever reasons. Eight. Well, I don't have an eight, so what do I do? Um, zero card. And yes, I kind of said that like Adventures of Sonic Sonic on purpose. Oh, my God. 
Get Persona Fireball to switch. I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say it, or not switch, or Xbox even. I don't know. Heck, it's on Game Pass for free if you want to try it. But if you have Game Pass, then try it. But like, Sword Fight is a really good game. Also, yeah, I love Majora's Mask. And, like the dark tone and all that. I like dark atmosphere the games. They're cool. I knew I'd love love. Yeah, Partners in Time is actually a really good game. I love the dark themes in that game. Like, freaking Santa gets killed and abducted by him. Like, that's the wall attack, bro. They kidnap Toad Santa. And then play Sad Jingle Bells, bro. bro. As a kid, that hit hard, bro. And also the freaking toad that gets that freaking absorbed by the Vim factory or whatever and is freaking just dead in the tree. That's also pretty raw as heck. Also, seeing the Dark Shroom Castle was really cool. Like, this is what the mushrooms have became in the past. Because of the invasion. Like, seeing the wrecks, like, Toe Town, for example, that was pretty neat. For me, I think Partner of the Time does the best job at, like, doing a dark story that also still kind of feels like Mario. Super Paper Mario is a great game, but it kind of just feels a little bit off. For me, anyway. Okay, good. There's still more to the castle. I thought it was over. So, you decided not to go to sleep, huh? How do you know that? Diz told me. Wait, is that the end? No. You know him? I'm not really sure. I can't help feeling that I met him somewhere before. Well, his face. Hey, voice. Diz, who are you? Nobody. Or anybody. It all depends on whether you... Yeah, Superstar of Staga is one of my top Mario games of all time. As well as Paper Mario 64. It all depends on whether you choose to believe in me or not. Oh, so you're like Santa Claus? Boy, you really like pushing decisions on other people. And you pushed away slumber and chose to face Sansa. What? What? Wrong answer? It was your answer. I'm just here to watch. Watch, as in support me, or watch me get toasted. <laughs> Bro, you choose. Then you only need to believe in your ch Then you need only believe in your choice. That card will draw the darkness inside you out into this world. Finish your business with Axum. 
Okay, good. They still have this part. I was com really confused when I saw Mamane. I thought that was the end, but I think I'm just forgetting. Let's go, Your Majesty. Golly, it sure feels like I've been here somewhere before. So this card will draw ants out. Don't you worry. Together, we can defeat him. I'm glad you've said that. But I have to face Ansem alone. What? But why? Bro, that... But why, Mickey? It sounded pretty good, actually. Bro, play Paper Mario. Just get Switch Online. Play Paper Mario instead of Push It. Just... 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 Paper Mario, bro. You gotta do it. It's one of the best games ever for me in the Mario series. And maybe ever. Just, it's that good of a game. There's no point in doing this if I can't do it on my own. But I have a favor to ask. If Ansem wins, he's going to enslave me. If that happens, I want you to destroy. Sure, I'll save you, pal. Huh? You're not listening. I want you to destroy Ansem and me with. No, can't do. I have already made my choice. No matter what happens, I'm going to be there to help you. I'm not looking down. Unless you don't believe, I'll come through for you. It's my choice to believe or not. I know you've never let me down, Your Majesty. Same here. You won't lose. Not in a million years. Not in a billion years. Huh. You've never let the darkness get the best of you. I'm sure of that. Well, Castle Oblivion's next, so, with all that out of the way, I'm gonna save, and, uh... True, true. That's fair. But it'll be over soon. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching, and have yourselves a good one. If you like what you saw, feel free to follow, and uh, check out my Discord server if you want to chat and, you know, check when my streams are coming up. Uh, link is in the sidebar thing on the Twitch channel. Also, I have a YouTube channel where all this is saved. Called, well, same name as the Twitch name. I have a lot of Kingdom Hearts games. Paper Mar- Oh, uh, wait, sorry, not- Uh, uh Mario Kart Tour. Splatoon. Castlevania. And Sonic games. So, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. And... See ya.